Domain burn. There we go. So we have ourselves basically a five color mana base just for the whole point of Maria's Outrider. And we also have a couple of the cards that take advantage of the domain feature, but it's primarily for the Outrider. The other domain purpose is Bortuk Bonnert Ra Bone Rattle. And it allows us to be able to bring back any creature from our graveyard. Um, and it puts it straight to the battlefield, if I remember correctly. Let's see, yes. If uh, we cast Bone Rattle, enter this battlefield. If cast, choose start creature in a graveyard, in our graveyard. Return to the battlefield if its mana value is equal to or less than the number of basic land types uh, among land types you control. Otherwise, put it into your hand. Oh, okay, so it actually puts it into our hand at the very least. So it puts it straight to play if it meets the mana value, if not, puts it to our hand. So it's still useful for the Outriders. Our goal is just to play Outriders and burn our opponent to death. We have some early aggression pack with the Firebrand and Iconoclast, plus some uh, Branch Riders. The Mana Worker help us fix our mana, considering we're, we're kind of being greedy on what we're doing. We have one Artillery Blast in the deck because it allows us to deal up to X damage to a tapped creature, plus one equal to the different land types. So at the very least, this should do two, maybe three damage. Um, uh, no, I should do at least three damage because of how our mana base is. Now, we're more than likely to do more than that, and I'm not sure how well this will work out, but I'm curious to try it out. Now, it's super greedy to try this card in the deck, considering this is our only white source from these, but we also have the Mana Worker to try to make it easier to play. We have the Urborg Repress or Repossession to uh, allow us to return a creature from our graveyard to our hand, gain two life. We can kick it, then get any permanent from our graveyard back to our hand. As I mentioned, goal is keep bringing out the Outriders, but it's also a little life gain, so it gives a little sustain. Bellow for strike of uh, value. Lightning Strike, be able to burn straight to face or any creature. Bite down controls creatures. And Colossal Growth gives us that trample uh, power. So, lots of really good things. Uh, we run one Slimefoot Survey to search our deck for two lands, and it it just simply says that to have the basic land type, so we can actually search for any of these tap lands with the survey and make sure we have on ourselves our full domain. And we'll try to see how well this works. It's going to be one heck of a crapshoot, but let's try it out. Alright, on the open... Ooh, this is kind of awkward looking. Um, I still think I'll try the keep. We'll just lead with the chick. Start poking in that damage. Alright, let's get the black green source, because that covers all of our mana types that we really need. Except for the white, I guess. No, oh, there's the white. At this point, we just need to draw our 5-drop and just keep playing it. Alright, Pun gets the Gardener. Alright, we hit Lightning Strike. The only land we're missing is a blue source, but at this point, I'm fine with missing that. Let's enter this battlefield. May search your library for a creature with Defender. Reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle. As a 1-3 defender, it's not that amazing, but if you have a defender deck, it could do well. Alright, Warbrute. It's a decent card. Let's see here. Alright, opponent brings out a lot of walls. The vine wall is actually going to be useful for our opponent just because it helps them get their land that they're missing. But I still don't think it's that good of a wall. I'll stand by my statement.
All right, this is actually going to be really good because we can attack. Oh, wait, when do you have to enlist? I'll have to enlist before I, I swing, don't I? Oh, well. No more lands, please. So I, I made a mistake, because it's I'm not used to this new enlist mechanic, because you have to activate before you attack. Ooh, that's dangerous. Ooh. So if I play this, that's going to deal four damage to my opponent. And yeah, we should be able to finish it from here. Let's make sure we do this this time. So enlist. Oh, we can't do it with um. This doesn't make a, a lick of sense. I sure hope I'm doing this right. There we go. Oh, that's right, I can only enlist with one creature. So, this will probably see the opponent probably throw all those birds they just got into the Warbird. But, or maybe not. They might also be blocking with these Save the Birds for our chick. Oh, opponent goes down to two. That's basically GG unless the opponent gives them gets themselves some life back. Because the creature just base has trample. The fact that you can't enlist with creatures that just come to play feels a little bad. Uh, we'll just take the hit. I gave them lifelink, so they actually do have the life to survive the lightning strike. So enlist, tap. I guess we'll enlist both. One here, one here. So, this should be enough to be it. Yeah, there we go. Punish scoops it up. I like how this hand looks. We'll keep this. If we can hit ourselves a different two drop to bring to board, I think I like the idea of waiting for this on turn three then. Amplifier. Let's still bring this out. This way, if we hit something else that we can play on the draw, uh, we can still go with that play idea. Nope. We'll send it. All right, any damage that we can chip in now is going to be great for us because of how we are built around these Outriders. Oh, another Outrider. Fortunately, we only have it going for three damage at the point. I am kind of scared about the Amplifier if with the opponent having yep so there's a tap spell at least we can play outrider gives us a 4-4 defender we get a little burn damage in but we take a lot here survey yes i'm greedy 
So with surveying, I can go get the two land types that we're missing. So let's see, we get ourselves... Make sure we grab the blue one first. And I'll grab black green since we have so many red sources. Grab the repossession. I go for repossession because of our life total. I'm a little, little worried about it. It also means that I can attempt a block against the amplifier. And if they do kill the Iconoclast, we can just bring it back. Okay, I can't block those. Outrider to board. Problem with the repossession, I can't actually use this to target nothing. <sighs> Shoot. I honestly thought they were going to attack in and I'd be able to get a block, get the revive, and get the life back. Yeah, so the opponent unfortunately sees that they have a line to kill us. Because if I... Block, block, which is technically blocking the most damage here. They can just activate these and still win. Now, don't say anything in the the chat here for like GGs or anything, because they may think we might have a an answer. But no, they got it. Good game, fun. You got it. Ah, uh, we unfortunately just drew a lot of lands, and I got greedy for the survey. I think if I didn't play the survey and just played out the creature, I might have had a better chance. All right, on the open, I think we'll keep this. We have slow lands, but... We have a lot of really good cards. All right. Get that pressure going. We actually have our full domain already set up for the uh, the lands drawn. So we just need to draw into one more land and the of any, any type, and also our creature that gives us our power. Unfortunately, I should have probably possibly went for this land to actually get through the vine wall there. But I didn't want to lose out on playing Warbrute on 4. Alright. Snare Spinner for our opponent. Oh, we hit an Outrider. Alright, War Brute to the board. Pass it back. Now we have kind of a silly little interaction. We can actually give this its plus two plus zero. And then we can attack with this for the enlist and swing as a six. But I don't think that's worth it. I think we just attack, enlist. This way, if the opponent tries to go for some blocks, we got the plus three, plus zero, and the scry. One's just going to take it. Let's 
Galaxy. Still, let's get this off the board. Alright, punch down to 15. Alright, Pun brings out the worm. Huh, yeah, we'll, we'll take that one. That is no problem. Alright. Activate. Enlist. Attack. No. It's so awkward to activate the enlist skill. Alright, Pum takes a six. At this point, we just play these turn after turn and the opponent will lose. Alright, Pum plays an artillery blast. Well, that's a bit of a shame. Because we can't ar artillery blast their worm. Because it has vigilance. Alright, opponents tap down to the point that we can just not have to worry about a counterspell. Do I just blast the spinner? Yeah, let's be safe. Let's just blast the spinner for because we'll have to tap out. Might as well get rid of the that extra point that's coming in. Alright, opponent's down to four. Next turn, we play another one of these Outriders. Domain Burn. Alright, that's fine. Not worried about that in the least. Just to be safe, we'll offer a multi-block against the Worm if it attacks in. Because if they tap out to protect it, as long as they don't give it lifelink, we should be good. Alright. Tap out. Play another card. You can do it. Yes! Opponent, though, too afraid to full tap out, but GG opponent. <laughs> oh, yeah, there we go. All right. On the open, we'll keep it. We don't have this on turn one, but that's fine. Because we do have the turn two play. Just looking to draw some lands here. Partially because that way we can play... We play this on turn four, and like turn three, just play any of the tap lands. Probably blue, green, or black, red would be great. All right, we'll just draw the swamp. That's still good. In that case, we're hoping to get the blue, green land. I mean, I guess we'd settle for any of the white versions, also white, green, or red, white. I oh, know we already have red, white. Um. Yeah, so we're just looking for the blue one. Alright, we draw Artillery Blast. I guess we'll just... Swamp. Pass. Go for the block. I was thinking about blasting it, but I'd rather save the blast to get rid of this creature. Because it allows them to sacrifice cards and pump all their creatures.
Oh, are they going to kick the two drop and animate that back to their hand? Is that two, three lifelinker is actually pretty good. No, they go for the frightful return. All right, they start on phase two, which does add it back to their hand. All right, we will kick this. Go attacking. Get a huge burst of damage on the opponent. And now we just play Outriders and win. Um, yeah, you can draw a card. If they kick that, that's fine. We'll just sacrifice Branch Rider. Alright, does the opponent still attack in? Oh, they do. How, how, uh... How brave of you. Alright. Three damage. They're down to one life. What does our opponent do? Because <laughs> we just resolve the next one and they should die. The only way that they can stay alive is if they gain five life. At which point they still have to deal with what's on board. Alright, that's nice. It's cute. We'll give them the GG's. I can't block them because of Menace. But we'll play another one of these and they go kaboom. Man, Outriders are really good for draft. <laughs> you got a 4-4 body with reach and you also get to just do up to 5 damage to your opponent's face. I even proved it with the uh, three color deck that you don't need all five colors to make them good. Thank you for watching the video. Please leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe for more content. If you'd like to join me while I stream, you can find me on Twitch at the link below. I hope to see you again in the next video and have a nice one.